What's good? It's your boy, Adrian Nice. Welcome to the Mouth and Now interview tour. This is day two. We in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Right now, I'm here with Big Mozzie, CEO of BMP. You already know what it is. <laughs> in the building, bro. Uh, appreciate you for, you know, again, taking the time out, letting us come through. Now we at your spot, your <laughs> spot. Hometown, baby. <laughs> there we go. Um so we in Fayetteville, man. Yes. Back, back in Fayetteville. Back in Fayetteville. Yep. Um, first time I met this guy, we were on another tour. Um, we had tapped in with him, linked up, uh, shot the interview. He brought us to, what was the restaurant called? Uh, it was uh, the Big Apple. Shout out to them for letting us come through. Now we back at it again in Fayetteville, making it happen again. Um, so since then, I know you have launched your podcast. I want to start by talking about that. On the Rise. Okay. On the rise, let's talk about it a little bit. All right, so um, basically, on the rise, man, is is we started off as a podcast, mm -hmm. but we have transitioned from a podcast to a talk show. Okay, um, because what we like to do on the rise, man, we bring not only artists, we bring entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. any type of entertainer, actors, mm -hmm. whatever. We already had them on our show, mm -hmm. um, and I like to look at different type of content, man. If you got something going on. You on a rise. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, hitting me. city from city, doing these tours. That's on a rise, bro. Appreciate it. You know it. what I'm saying? You're not just sitting at home, sitting on your ass, not doing anything. So we created the platform for anybody that don't get interviews, that mm -hmm. don't get even mentioned to have access to have an interview. Mm -hmm. We bring them on this show, bro. And it's been successful. We had some big names out here right in the knob. Uh, you know? I was, is... Um... Is podcasting or, I mean, are there a lot of outlets in Fayetteville kind of for that type of avenue or anything? Now it is. Now, <laughs> now it That's is. I mean, I'm, I'm just keeping it all the way on it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Before, um, and like I said, shout out to everybody that's doing their own thing, make, creating their own platform. Big facts. To me, I got to keep it real, though. Like, sometimes you can watch a person and that person can inspire somebody that, damn, I should have been doing this a long mm. time ago. You feel what I'm saying? And now everybody is... Creating the platform, up. you know what I'm saying? So, you know, shout out to all of y'all. And so just, uh, you know, my audience who might not be familiar with you, let's kind of just run it back a little bit. Um, and When did you get into uh, music? I've been in music since 1999. 1999. Yeah, um, released my first single in 2001. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you good. No, it's good. You said you released it when? You good. Yeah, you good. Oh, no, I started, uh, I started music in 1999. And I uh, released my first single in 2001. And then, what was your first single? It was called Welcome Back, man. It was off the uh, the Little Romeo instrumental, bro. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? What was that What was that Little Romeo song? Um, not the Mace joint, Welcome Back, Welcome Back, not that. It was that like, Welcome Back to NJ, it's that time again. It was off of Michael Jackson sample. Uh, you feel what I'm saying? And I created that uh, off a of karaoke machine. Side oh, A, side B. Machine. Yeah, absolutely. Damn. Absolutely. So that's back in the day, man. A lot of things changed since then. Yeah, I was about yeah. to say, this new generation. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. And I was young, man. I, I was I was a what? I was a freshman in high school, man. So, you know, I was young, man. Were you recording other people, too? Or was it just kind of you that, um, like, your homies? Or... I mean, at that point, it was just um, me and my best friend. Um, shout out Ace Boogie, man. He from the 2-5. You know what I mean? So shout out to you. It was just me and him. Okay. You know what I mean? And we started off like a little, you know, a little group, you know? Okay. And then from there, transitioned to what? Myself, <laughs> you know, because a lot of people don't work. A lot of people don't match your work ethic. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? Some people going to slack. Some people going to keep going. I was one of the ones that kept going. Yeah. Now we are here today with Absolutely. 82K. Absolutely, <laughs> on man. The ground. <laughs> it just keep growing, man. Absolutely. Facts. I, I just want to touch on that, too. Like, how did you kind of get your following up? And when did you kind of notice it? Uh, kind of taking off? I mean, for one, though, like, you have to be able to tap in with marketing, man. You feel what I'm saying? Get campaigns behind your work, your content. 
It's nothing wrong with doing that. It's still going to grow mm. organically. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? But do you think people that's pushing out a commercial don't have marketing behind it? You a fool mm. and you don't know the business. You feel what I'm saying? So what I did was I got in touch with marketers, you know, mm. marketing agencies and all of that that helped me build my content as long as that's I'm smart. putting out the content. You feel me? So if you don't know how to tap in, just tap in and I'll let you know what to do and let you know because I ain't no hater. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Also, um, I do a lot of footwork, man. If I'm going to places, restaurants, malls, if I'm going to a store or a tobacco store, I tell somebody, you know, they look at me, hey, yo, you rap? Absolutely, follow me. Oh, you yeah. feel what I'm saying? That's organic, too. You know what I'm saying? So everybody I come in contact with, they got to follow me if they want to see content, you know? And, and what's Fayetteville like for the person who's never been here before? Let's describe. Fayetteville's a good city. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to front. It's a good city, but also... It got a lot of perks with it. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, too much hating out here. Mm. Too many crabs in a bucket out here. You feel what I'm saying? Um, as someone, if I inspire you to do something or vice versa, you inspire me to do something, mm -hmm. I shouldn't hate on you. I should be like, well, damn, Adrian, he inspired me to do this. I'm going to just keep going with Adrian. Yeah. Just to see what type, you know. How can we work? Absolutely. <laughs> Some people, they be around you just to see what you have going on, to see how they could tap in. And, and then when they feel like they got it, they leave you. Oh. You feel what I'm that's saying? So show. I think that's the, one of the biggest problems in show. Fayetteville, trying to divide the city. Why do you think it's like that uh, here? It's just because everybody's just trying to make it or just or they might not want to succeed. Or like, I mean, you can't really necessarily say that because look how many what? look how many rappers that have made it in L.A. Mm -hmm. And they all come together. Mm -hmm. Look how many rappers that made it in Atlanta. Atlanta, yeah. One thing about Atlanta, shout out to Atlanta, man, because Atlanta always look out for Atlanta. They not crabs in a bucket, man. Everybody gets on. And then if you don't know this person, he might be with that group. And they all tie in together. You feel what I'm saying? So I guess Gucci got a lot to do with that. You feel what I'm saying? So shout out to Gucci, man. You feel me? But at the end of the day, like, I just feel like if Fayetteville wouldn't divide itself, mm -hmm. you feel what I'm saying? And start paying attention to the work ethic and what you can do as a whole because shit will move a whole lot faster with numbers. It's definitely some talent out here, too. It is. I know a couple of guys. We got you. We got, damn. What? Well, it's a couple of guys out here. I've been tapped in with their music. They be coming out to Charlotte and stuff. But for sure, for sure. Um, what are some other things you think Fayetteville is missing besides, okay, so we got the morale of the community. That's what you feel like. They need to come together, start supporting each other. What are some other things? And then we talked about the outlets and stuff. Now we're starting to build that up. What are some other things you feel like, uh, Fayetteville might be missing in order to kind of elevate it. They missing more niggas like me. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Hey, listen, I don't care. I'm going to be honest with you. Fayetteville's missing more niggas like me. You know, I'm a type of person, bro, like, you got your own brand come through. Let's, let's market your brand. Mm. Let's get your brand out there. But at the end of the day, we're moving as a unit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, um, what do you think? Let me ask the questions out there. And also on my live, too, and also on Mouth and Out. You feel what I'm saying? Make sure y'all drop below in the com in the comments, man. Like, what do you think that people was doing in the NBA when they had these all-star teams? Mm -hmm. They was bringing the key players together. You feel what I'm saying? And they was making it work. So what I do is I like to bring people together so we can move as a unit. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't about competition. It ain't about hating. It ain't about none of that. You feel what I'm saying? Because BMP, we don't hate. You feel what I'm saying? We actually congratulate people. You know what I'm saying? And support. But we can't focus our attention on that. We got to focus our attention on keep moving and keep pushing. So I think they missing people like me, man. They can bring people together and not right divide mentality. the city. I like yeah. that. Absolutely. Absolutely. I agree with that. Yeah. Right mentality. For sure, for sure. Team makes the dream work. No doubt. <laughs> no doubt, man. And so um, what is your, uh, what's your goal for your podcast? Talk show on the rise. Where are you trying to take it? What are you trying to... Uh, uh, have it do. So I'm city. BMP, we're going to take on the rise to the top. You know what I'm saying? Eventually, we're going to bring celebrities in. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, we already brought the hood celebrities in. You feel what I'm saying? Right here from the NOM. And it's just not for the NOM. It's for, when I say the NOM, Fed yeah, NOM. I, I know. But you feel what I'm saying? But for everybody that don't know, know. <laughs> yeah, for everybody that don't know, we call it Fed NOM. You know what I mean? I'm not even from here. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? But I tapped in. You know what I mean? So actually, what we're what, what we are going to do Fort on the rise, man. We're going to start reaching out to other cities. Yeah. Which we already did. We had uh, sure. shout out to Celebrity Dane from the 2-5. Him and Mecca Ali, they came up here and uh, 
they did a thing last week on the um on That's the fire. You feel what I'm saying? We also had uh Diamore Carolina also from the two five, mm -hmm. a female rap artist, man, dope, and she came through. You feel what I'm saying? So we're branching now. We're just not in Fayetteville. You feel what I'm saying? So we're gonna take it to the top. And when y'all see murder pain up in here, don't don't trip. <laughs> you feel what I'm hey, saying? Don't trip. That's what's up, man. And then what is BMP? Let's break down what that is. BMP stands for Big Mozzie Production. Yep. Uh, before we changed the name, it was Moz Dior Productions. And, you know, Dior is my daughter's middle name. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Of course, Mozzie is me. You feel me? But I, we kind of changed things up, changed the whole logo, you know what I'm saying, and everything. So BMP is just abbreviated for Big Mozzie Production. And that's the label, too, right? Absolutely. Got a label too, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And got and, and, and got some all. artists, man. Uh, if you, I mean, I know y'all can't see, but I'm pretty sure in the footage, they'll take a picture. We got a whole, oh, you know, sure. frame full of artists oh, that I have right yeah. there. You know what I mean? So, um, Dang, so everybody's on, everybody's on the label. Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. That's some of the artists that we, and it's growing. Yeah. You know, and what do you look for when you, uh, sign an artist? Are you looking for a particular sound or do they have to have a certain image or? Do they have to have, um, you know, to be open to learning or like, what are you looking for? I mean, um, when I'm signing artists, man, I look for dedication. I look for loyalty. I look for work ethic. You know, let's see who knows the game. Let's see who don't. So we can start putting the ones that don't know the game. Let's put them in artist development. You feel what I'm saying? So they can catch up to speed. You know what I'm saying? Because you never could be too old to be in a class of development. So you feel what I'm saying? It's just like going to work. You 30 some years old, you 40 and you just start a job. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you got to get trained. You feel what I'm saying? So coming over here, man, you got to get trained. You may think you know, but you may not know all the ins and outs of it. So um, I just look for, uh, with the sound, I look for, um, everybody got a different sound now. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, everybody has a different sound. So when it comes to, like, um, I got two 14-year-old young artists. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And they got that new thing going on that, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know, people call it popcorn music. You feel what I'm saying? Where they spitting fast, where people can't, you know what I'm saying? But you got people, they age group that love that. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So we can accommodate that platform. Um, I also got R&B singers that can accommodate that platform. I got female artists that can accommodate all the female artists. You know what I'm saying? And then I just got some, some, just some crazy, some crazy artists, man, that just do all over. They floaters. You feel what I'm saying? So not only am I signing artists, I'm signing entrepreneurs. Um, I'm signing um, 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 entrepreneurs that make clothes. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? Stylists, hairstylists, nails, all of that. So it's bigger than music. It's a corporation. Corporation, man, you bigger than Fayetteville, bro. I like the <laughs> it's way a corporation, man. <laughs> like the so, that's what we're doing, bro. Absolutely, for real. Absolutely, for real, I like the way you're going about things. I like the way you're doing it. I like what you're doing. No for doubt, for real. Um, do, do you think you'll stay in Fayetteville? Um, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Okay, we're looking to move. Where we, absolutely where, not. Where, where are we looking to move to? <sighs> it's either going to be Florida Potential. or it's going to be I'm going, going back, back <laughs> to Cali. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? So it's either going to be between Florida and Cali. You feel what I'm saying? But I want to be in a position where all my artists are successful. Mm -hmm. um, have them out in Cali or Florida, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, with us, whether they come in to visit or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Everything is going to remain the same. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, unfortunately, I'm at a, at, a, at a standstill spot mm -hmm. that I can't leave the state. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? But that ain't putting me down because I'm still working. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Plant all you people out there, y'all ain't working. Y'all need to tighten y'all ass up, man. For real, man. I'm going to go ahead and keep it all the way on it. What, Tighten up, man. Uh, what brought you to Fayetteville in the first place? Was it family or? Nah, um, Lizzie Ayo brought me to Fayetteville. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Um, we met in Texas. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, she's from the Nam. Well, actually, she's uh, from Panama, the country. Yeah. And um, but she grew up here in the Nam. You uh -huh. feel what I'm saying? So I actually came here because of her. You feel me? So and who is that for people who don't know who that is? Lizzie Ayo. Yep. Oh, that's my girl. Lizzie Ayo, that's my girl. Yeah, she's also the president. She, yeah, I'm about to say. She's also the, yeah, she's also the president of, of, of the label. You know what I'm saying? BMP the label. You okay. feel what I'm saying? Absolutely. Music to all of that. Yeah. Okay. And so, I mean, which, those are kind of two different scenes. Florida and LA. Or where in Cali? LA? 
or just yeah, L.A. You know what I'm saying? Around LA, that scene, I, I, I probably would. I don't know, man, because I probably would hit the Bay Area though. Or the Bay. You feel what I'm saying? The Bay so, Area popping. So those are two different scenes. You know, Florida, they definitely, you know, industry-wise, bigger than, uh, you know, North Carolina as a whole or whatever. What um, what are some things that you like about both of the scenes? You know? I don't know, man. Like like I said, I got introduced to Florida through her, too. You know what I'm saying? And Florida <laughs> got a different type of fucking heat. You everywhere. <laughs> it's hot as fuck. You feel what I'm saying? But I like the way they grind out there. I like the way you can get noticed out there. You feel what I'm saying? There's a lot of potential out there. And I, and I don't just think about myself. I think about my artists. You know what I'm saying? Getting different shows out in Florida and stuff like that. California. Come on, man. California, just like New York, it's a, it's, it's a state of dreams. You okay. feel what I'm saying? If you can't make it in Cali or New York, then you just don't got it. You feel what I'm saying? That's so right. whether if I hit L.A., you feel what I'm saying? You got to watch the colors. If you go to L.A., you feel what I'm saying? You go to Bay Area, you got to watch that too. But the Bay Area, man, like, whether you're going to San Diego, San Francisco, Oakland, whatever, man, like, you could tap in. You know what I mean? And I know E-40 and his sister Sugar T. You know what I mean? It's a whole movement. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going, I'm, I'm definitely going to places where I know I can tap in. You know? Absolutely. You're not just going. Like yeah. you said, you're thinking about the future mm -hmm. of what's to come for the brand and the company. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so you've been doing any showcases lately? Have I? <laughs> Hell yeah. Look, we just had a showcase. It was called Trap House Homecoming Day Party. Trap House so it was Homecoming Day. for Fayetteville uh, uh, State University. Um, we started this event off, man, from 9 to 12. We was uh, cooking. Everything don't... We was just talking before the show started that, you know, you're going to have your, your downtime. Mm -hmm. But things don't work out as they supposed to. You know what I'm saying? But the event was successful. That's good. You know what I'm saying? But it's supposed to have been from 9 to 12. Uh, we are selling plates, doing interviews for artists. Mm. You know, basically anybody that wanted an interview. Yeah. Honestly, you feel what I'm saying? You could come out and get yourself noticed, get your brand noticed. We also had a uh, pop-up. We had some people that were selling their own merchandise. That's you dope. feel what I'm saying? Shout out to Allure. That's her. I'm saying her name right. Shout out to her because she got some good smelling fragrance, man. And <laughs> I done got compliments off the fragrance that I bought from her. So thank you. Salute. Shout out to Jay Royale. He got this fearless um, clothing line that he's trying to get off now. So right. shout out to him. Um, but yeah, man, the showcase was successful. It started at one o'clock. Doors open at, um, at one. And it ended at six, man. And we had... Um, they had some artists out there doing their thing, man. And y'all make sure y'all go follow me so y'all can see the recaps. Yeah. Is this something that's going to be like a continuous thing? Are you looking to do this like weekly, monthly, biweekly, or, or only on special events or something like that? Or Since February, we have been doing two events a month. Wow. So, so y'all tearing it up. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So since February, man, we've been doing two events a month. Um, uh, I got another man. event coming up uh, this following weekend. It's called Brunch and Bars. Brunch and Bars. And that's going to be from Raleigh. You can come out and get your little brunch on. Right. You can network with people you ain't never seen before. That's what the whole purpose when is. When is that? What, what date is that? October 23rd. And uh, time. Location. Oh, October. It's, it's October 23rd. It's going to be from 11 to 5 in Raleigh. Uh, in Raleigh. At Crave, the Club Crave. Um, Club Crave. Shout out to Bash, you know what I'm saying? Because he's yeah, sponsoring brother. that. Okay. And they yeah. can tap in with you to follow that. Absolutely. So can... Absolutely. Okay. That's what's up, man. Um, what I kind of want to do, since you do have your live going, mm -hmm. is there anybody in there that ha may have questions? You know, feel free to ask. And if anybody in the room might have questions for Mozzie that y'all haven't had a chance to ask him or anything like that, uh, I just want to give them a chance to, you know, tap in with you or anything like that while, that, while they're doing that. Um, any new music? Any new music or anything like that that mm -hmm. we're dropping before the year's up? Yes. Um, well, as you know, I've been promoting my single in the trap for at least, well, it's been about a year now. I uh, started that back in last year around this time. Uh, I had shot the first video. I done shot that video like <laughs> twice. You feel what I'm saying? Because people, oh, let's do it. I want to be in and all that. So I shot the video twice. <laughs> I don't think I'm shooting it no more. You feel what I'm saying? It is what it is. Whoever wasn't in it, okay. Yeah, you Train wasn't it, in you know it. What I'm saying? Go stream it and Hop all that. the next one. Yeah. Absolutely. But um, I've been promoting that for a year. Um. I was just on the radio station, 95.5. Saw that. I was on that. Um, they debuted it. Um, and also, I'm dropping a single called All I Know, and that's featuring Murder Pain. Hey. Everybody don't know who Murder Pain is. I don't know if y'all seen his hood movies, Plug hey. Love, Ooh. or 
Go look him up and you'll find out who he is. You might say, damn, I know who he is. I like yeah. his movies. Well, you know what I'm saying? That's my man in a hundred grand. You know what I mean? Southwest Detroit. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to Murder. Right now, like, I supposed to be in his uh his series, uh, McGraw Have. Wow. You feel me? So we just dropped that and now it's in rotation on uh, uh Funk Master Flex, High 97. How did that collab come about? My manager. Wow. Um, Working it. Yeah, my manager hooked that up for me. Shout out to Tiny. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all can go follow him right now. If y'all want anything dealing with me, features, whatever, go follow loyalty underscore and underscore sneakers. That's tiny. And he'll holler at y'all and he'll give y'all some numbers. If the number's right, we'll talk. You feel me? But yeah, um, he set that up for me. Uh taught the murder. Uh he was good to go with it. And um everything was lit from there, man. Uh so how long have you been in Fayetteville? What'd you say? Two years. Two years. Okay. Yeah, would, two years. Would you say, in your opinion, that you're one of the top premier uh artists in the city? All right. So let me and ask when you this. I say that, Hold on. When I, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> when I'm a I sip of beer. Let me sip of beer. When, when I say that, you know, I'm sure we're aware there's hundreds of artists. So I'm saying like you're in like top 10 type of thing. That's what I say about top premiere. I'm in the I'm in the top two. Okay. okay. Um, but I ain't from the knob. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? So when you asking that question, you hear does it? Does it? You yeah, I'm here. You I'm here. Man, you hear though? All right, fuck it. I'm so, in the top. You know what I'm saying? You here? Yeah, yeah. I'm in. The, I'm in the top two, man. You know what okay. I'm saying? I'm in the top two. You feel what I'm saying? Like I ain't trying to be cocky, but I think my work ethic speaks for itself. What you know what I'm saying? saying? So, are you one or two? Number one. <laughs> I'm number one. You feel what I'm saying? Until y'all can, until y'all can match what I do. Okay. I'm gonna be number one, man. Because when you're looking for an artist, you don't just look for the music. You look for everything. How you can brand and how you can market this person. Right. Is he marketable? I know I am. I'm Look. marketing Look. right now. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? So if you ain't even got no brand, you can't even, we ain't on the same level. You know what I'm saying? But I talk to you, though. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so, which leads me to my next question. If we had to put together a Mount Rushmore of Fayetteville, which is four, who would you put in your opinion? They ain't got to be the best, you know, or whatever. It's just who you think. This is your Mount Rushmore. Who would you put on your Mount Rushmore? Four artists. Mount Rushmore got what? Four people up there? Four people up there. Who would you put on your Mount Rushmore? Who do you think deserves to be on? I'ma say I'ma say I'ma say Big Keiko. And break down who these people are, just kinda <clears throat> Big Keiko is young cakes. Um I think everybody in Vietnam and if you ain't not from the Vietnam, go look him up, go follow him. Mm -hmm. Um, but he's one of the ones that's been putting in work with the music. He got a <laughs> he got a lot of features with a lot of celebrities. You feel what I'm saying? I uh, I don't know. Well, I think Rick Ross, uh, Bootsy. He just did something with Bootsy. Uh, um, uh, what's the other boy name? Um, um, uh, Pastor Troy. Mm -hmm. Um, he was on tour with uh Crime Mob. So he's been doing this for a while. So I would definitely put him up there for the city. Okay. Um, that's one. That's one. Um, I'm going to say, um, now, is it just artists, producers? Uh, I mean, are we just, are we divided? Artists. Artists. Just artists. Um, shit, I'm going to say Young Gene. Young Gene. He's BMP on, also representing his brand, Chevy Gang. Okay. He's uh, He's been in the game for a while, too. You feel what I'm saying? So he definitely got to go up there. Um, that's two, two more. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say 30. RIP to 30. 30. From Dark Side Camp. Both of them boys was from the same camp. And um he 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 got the city lit. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? So we said K Keiko, Young Gene, 30. Uh I'm gonna have to go with his brother too, 40. His brother. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Free 40. He locked up right now. Mm. Doing a bid. Um, how many is that? That's four. That's four. So that's who my Mount Rushmore that's who would your be. Mount Rushmore. Yeah, and I think the city will be behind that. You okay. feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. No doubt. All right. Do we got any questions or anything in the in the chat or anything like that? Okay, that's cool. Well, so look. <clears throat> oh, we got one from. Go ahead, bro. Like within your label and everything. Oh, like um, who am I pushing? Just one, or or, or the first go to go to. I mean, Lizzie is definitely Nikki. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Uh, and then, um, because 
I would say, okay, in a new school now, yeah. you know, Nikki is the head honcho. You feel what I'm saying? I don't care. Like, Lil' Kim was, but, she, you know. But it's Nikki now, so that would be Lizzie. You feel what I'm saying? We got another female artist, Lady Draco. She would be like a Megan. You feel what I'm saying? So uh, with the female artists, you know, with them, and also you got, uh, we got Ruga Red from the females. You feel what I'm saying? So if anybody, I ain't going to go on the line and say want to battle, but you got to get past them before you can even touch the men in the camp. Mm. You feel me? So I'm definitely pushing Lizzie Ayo, Ruga Red, uh, Lady Draco. Um, as far as the men, I'm pushing Young Gene, Cutter P. He's our DJ. Shout out to Cutter P. One of the hardest working DJs. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, Smoot LeFou. You feel me? So, um, and these young cats, man, they 14 years old. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, young Sicko, TFL Sicko, and um, Honda LeFou. You feel what I'm saying? Um, I'm really pushing everybody because it's, it's, it's a lot of room to push everybody. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're going to do a compilation album. Um, shout out to Kid Casanova in South Carolina. He stay in South Carolina, so he can't be present all the time. But um, I like a. I don't want to divide my artists. I want to push all of them. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say with having so many artists, how do you decide when to release whose album and who's next, or is it who's ever ready and whose stuff is complete, or how do you go about? Who's serious about it? Got you. Who who's who's willing to work? You know what I'm saying? Who's willing to grind? Who's willing to invest in themselves? You feel what I'm saying? I have been investing in myself since 99. You feel what I'm saying? And Dan, it's like, damn, after all these years and I'm just here, I should be somewhere else with a mansion and doing what I'm doing. But, you know, it's all in God's plan, but you have to work. So whoever that's really putting in work, man, these are the cats that I want to work with, even from the artists at my label. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to be able to invest, man. Which you got to be serious about your craft. How serious are you about your career? How bad do you want? How bad do you want? It? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the number one question. Big facts. Yeah. Um, go ahead and drop your social media. We about to slide up out of here. I want some last words from you. Talk to the audience a little bit. You can find me on Facebook, Maserati Santana. Don't spell it with an S. Spell it with a Z. You know what I'm saying? M A Z E R A T I Santana. S A T S A N T A N A. You can also follow me on IG. That's Mozzie Bracken 18. M A Z E E B R A C C K I N 1 8. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Big Mozzie Productions with a Z, not an S. You feel me? And my last words would be y'all keep grinding, y'all keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to divide anything, divide the haters, but keep them on the sideline because we need cheerleaders. You feel what I'm saying? Keep your brand going. Don't stop. I don't care if you ain't selling nothing, keep going because Rome wasn't built in a day. You feel what I'm saying? And a dream ain't going to happen overnight unless you got them bands. You feel what I'm saying? So y'all keep doing y'all thing. And I'm glad that you had me back on yeah, Mouth and Out, sure, bro. bro. So, you, you know what I'm saying? Know. That's love, bro. Like, because. Anytime we out here or anytime you come to Charlotte or LA, bro. Yeah, absolutely. You already know what time it is. And I'm there. You feel what I'm saying? You said Chicago? Not sh LA. Oh, oh uh, uh, Cali. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought he said Chicago, but no, no, no. that that food. Out we there. did. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, absolutely, man. So I salute y'all, yeah, man. I think everybody tuning in on my live too. Appreciate okay. y'all. All right, this is Adrian Nice mouthing out. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tap with my boy. Run up the streams. Run up the views. Mouthing out interview tour, and we out. Peace. Peace.